All right, guys, we were going to talk about uh, voter fraud that is possibly happening at Oregon right now. Um, but I want to defer that. I'll probably delay that for about a week, uh, for a, a week, a day. Um, I want to talk about this because I think this is more important and people are going to find this more interesting. Macy's defendant. Uh, it's Macy's defends the white employee who mercilessly beaten for allegedly calling a black shopper the N word while on the phone and says the attacker was unprovoked. The attack was unprovoked. So we do actually have the video and we're going to play that for you now at the risk of possibly getting another copyright strike. Right. So that's the attack that happened, okay? Um, now, what happened here is a white man shown in the viral video being beaten down by a black man for allegedly calling him the N-word in the middle of Macy in Michigan. Macy's has been identified as a store employee. Macy's issued a statement Friday in which the company claimed the attacker was unprovoked as police hunt for the two men involved who fled the scene. The shocking video emerged Monday showing the Macy's employee being pummeled into the face at the Greensland Valley County and Flint Township. Sorry. Um, so local rapper FT Quo shared the video on Facebook and claimed that he had a bro went to the small and asked the man on the phone about her shirt size. Now he said the employee answered them and returned to his phone call where he allegedly told someone on the phone, no, just some N-word, which resulted in the black man pouncing on him. Well, we're going to get to the, what I think about this in a sec, right? The moment the employee allegedly used the racial slur is not shown in the sort quit. Funny that, isn't it? Macy's has now claimed the attack was unprovoked and said they are helping authorities identify the man shown in punching the employee in the video and the man filmed it. So FT Quaz's social media was taken offline as a Friday. We're deeply saddened about the incident that took place on Monday at Macy's Greenville, so as the safety of Macy's customers and colleagues is our top priority. Violence in the workshop or workplace of any kind is unacceptable. All material from the event have been reviewed, and it's clear the attack was unprovoked. We are working closely with local authorities in the investigation and will defer any further comments about the case to them per policy. The company did not mention the man seeing being punched in the video was an employee, but the later revealed the local law enforcement. Police confirmed they are investigating the video on Friday as of wide circulation on social media. So it's not, uh, it's not something that's being put on the back burner. We want to find out what happened, police said. We were called to the scene around 5.45pm on Monday. Officers learned that the employee of the store was assaulted by a young black man who fled the scene with a second individual after the assault. Store surveillance video confirms the assault against the employee. Investigations also learnt the assault was recorded by a second individual said on social media. He was who's later deleted that video, I believe. Uh, the brief video shared by F.T. Quaz, Query, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, shows the man punching the other man in the face, with the unsuspecting man immediately asking, why are you doing that for? As the man on the ground extends his arm to keep the angered man away, the assailant punches him again and tells him not to punch him. At this point, the employee tells the black man, I didn't touch you, I'm sorry, as the assailant punches him in a few more times. Uh, the Flint Township Lieutenant Brad Ringler said that they are investigating the incident, but no one has currently in custody. I wonder why. A, f a spokesman added that they have been beefed up security in the store following the incident. Anybody with information, please contact Detective Blah. Uh, so the number is one. Uh, sorry, eight one hundred. Sorry, start again. So contact De Detective Hart at eight hundred and ten. 
600, 3,250, or Crime Stoppers at 1800, 422, jail, which is 5245. And those numbers are on the screen and will be in the description below. Right, so that's the initial report. Um, now, the Macy's defendi- uh, defends employees who was beaten after calling a black shop at the N word, the store says, an unperturbed broke attacked. Two people of interest have been identified in a viral Michigan Macy's attack report. So two people of interest have been identified by cops and investigation in a viral video caught on a video attacked at Michigan Macy's. An uh, 18 second video of the incident on social media shows a man stalking around a white employee and punching him in the wor- workers' apologizes. Facebook user called FT Quasi, or Quarry, whatever it may be, posted the clip to Facebook and then sent the caption that the employee numbered the N word before the man in the video began to hammer him. This is not the whole video, but me and a bro in the mall and something, he added this man. Look like he, I, I, don't know, I can't even pronounce, I don't even know how to say those words. Like, what? Uh, this man opt did the shirt look a little, he told. Oh, fucking learn English, man. Macy's, however, said the attack on the worker in Flint was unprovoked. Flint police wanted to speak with Damel Kamer, 18, and Demik Jonovan, 22, about the incident, according to SMS, sorry, WSMH. So, um, what do I think about this? So, the police saying, uh, one more thing, the police are probing whether the beatdown was possible assault. Uh, do you really need to ask that question? Do, do you think this is possible assault? Do I need to replay the video yet again, showing him being beaten for you to possibly work out if this was assault? But anyway. Uh, police in Flint, Michigan are uh, investigating a viral video on social media of a black man pumpering a white uh, shopper. It wasn't a shopper, it was actually a worker. He allegedly used, according to reports. Okay. Um, look at the end of the day, what's my view on this? Okay, so someone who's worked in customer service in the past, I don't think this worker numbered the N-word. Okay. When you work in these sort of industries, when you work in these sort of jobs, no matter how racist or whatever you may think a country is, shop employees will never use a racial slur. In fact, him being on his phone is possible, but definitely not using a racial slur, and definitely not using it while the customer would be there. If he did say it, which I doubt, he wouldn't have said it when the customer was there. To me, what this is, this is people trying to get views because of racial tensions. People fueling racial tensions at the moment. They they want to go through... And I presume these black guys, in my opinion, are just racist. They are racist against white people. So, what they want to do, they're probably walking through the store, this customer service guy probably bumped into them, or whatever it may be, and then they just decided to wail on the guy. That's what I think has probably happened in this whole situation. Which is why you're saying, I didn't touch you... You know, the black guy probably turned around and said something along the lines of, did you just hit me or did you bump into me? And that's when this has obviously happened. Um, I think them justifying it or claiming that the that the, the, the person who is being pummeled on here said the N-word, I think that is them trying to justify it because they were worried they might have come off as racist. To me... And even if, even if the employee did say it, which is a huge if, according to the own security, and I'm presuming Macy's has security cameras, right? You you can't seem to go down to the supermarket these days without being spied on by 20 different cameras. So I imagine there were cameras that caught this. And at the end of the day, even if he did say that N-word, That does not give you the right 
to beat him into the ground even after he's already down. The guy is already on the ground and you're still wailing on him. Even if he did say it, you're not even allowed to hit him in the first place. And, and I get frustrated by the police department who turns around and, and, and says, Oh, we don't know if this is assault. Of course it's assault. What do you think it is? You have a guy wailing on someone. If this was the other way around, if this was a white person wailing on a black employee, this would be starting riots right now. Why is it that when one group does it to the other, it's perfectly fine, but when you get a white cop kneeling on a black guy, we get David Chappelle's series, we get riots, we get protests, we get whatever you want to call it. Why is it that it only seems to go one way? If you're against racism, for example, why aren't you against racism on all fronts? Why is it that it's only self-serving? And obviously this is a rhetorical question because obviously it's this, that. It's, it's that. It is a, a self-serving thing. They don't really care about white people. They just want to go through and punch them because they've been fed, drip-fed this crap by mainstream media that the country is racist. So you are justified, and the media has literally said this in the past, you are justified to punch a Nazi. Well, guess what? Punch a Nazi has now been involved into punch a man who works in a supermarket. Because that's what they're doing right now, is they're literally wailing on this guy for no more apparent reason than supposedly him saying the N-word, which, by the way, wasn't caught on camera, and by the way, the shop, the convenience store, Macy's, is now turned around and disproved or disputed. So what do you think is actually happening here? Me, personally, I think this is racism. This is a guy who has gone through and is literally punching the white guy because he has a chip on his shoulder. He's been fed this all this life that he's a victim. He's been fed through his whole life that the country is against him because he's black. So what does he do? He goes out and becomes an angry young man. And he goes out and wails on a, on a, on a shop worker. And like I said, even if... The worker deserved it. Even if he said the N-word. You still can't do it. It's assault, brother. Welcome to jail. Because that's hopefully where you're going. And, and this is not the only time we've seen this. Uh, we actually had another case, which I was going to talk about, but I got sidetracked last week. Melbourne. Uh... We had this happen in Melbourne. And, and I swear I saw no one talking about this except for um, Avi, Avi Yemi, uh, the Australian YouTuber. Um, now, apparently, it looks like there might have been a charge laid. No, that's not it. No, that's something else. So, let me bring up Avi Yemedi's video. Yeah. Now, I'm not going to play the whole video. What I want to do is... This. He's the only one that I've seen that's actually that talked deal. about it. Um, let me just see. Keep it up. 
By this stage, she looks like she's got a concussion. You, you go back to this part here. Like, she looks like she has a concussion at this part. You look at the face there, like, she looks like she's gone. She's concussed. And they're still wailing on her. But I, I want to do this as a separate video, alright? I want to talk about this separately, so probably tomorrow we'll go and talk about this. And, oh boy, I'm probably going to get another YouTube strike. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah. Um, oh, sign the petition. I want to check that out. Um, so I'm probably going to talk about that. But, you know, like, we're, we're having all this black on white violence gee i wonder why maybe because the media has been stoking racial uh, racial fears for the past how many days or past week or so whatever it may be you know like the media is responsible for this in a part but guys let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below personally i find this disgusting personally i think both these black men should be arrested and thrown in jail. You are assaulting some guy for, at the very most, using the N-word. At the very least, for no apparent reason. And, and I find it very interesting that the media seems to have stopped talking about this right as it comes out that, oh no, wait, hang on, he might not have actually used the racial word now. So all of a sudden the media stopped talking about it. Like this article here, where was this from? 20th of June, I had to go back three days, or two days actually, two days to two and a half days to hear anything about this. And I totally missed this when it came out, I must admit. So, yeah, like I say, everybody was talking about it on the 20th, but yeah, all of a sudden now, uh, yeah. 20th was the last time people were talking about it. It's, it's weird, that, isn't it? It's, it's just so weird. It's just like they stopped talking about it because it didn't fit a narrative anymore. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Also, guys, please share this video um, because at the end of the day, th this is not going to be monetized. Let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. If this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.